It looks like a Reese's peanut butter cup, kind of. Man, no. Why do I make such bad life choices? I'm gonna be late. Ugh. Hi guys, can you guess where I'm going? So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to Cars and Coffee. I got up at five, it's 6.40, starts at seven. It's 45 minutes away. I got this. Way too hot out there. I walked around like one lap around Cars and Coffee, and I was like, no, I'm good. It's too, hot. it's too hot. I wore a black shirt. I'm kind of an idiot. I don't know why I wore a black shirt. So now I'm like, I'm at the top of this road. That's very descriptive. Sorry. <laughs> I'm at the top of, I don't know, I'm at the top of some road in Tucson, and it's really pretty up here. It's like one of my favorite spots. I'm gonna go back home. I wanna work on my car. So, I don't know what I'm gonna do today. I think I'm gonna do the intercooler wrap. This is gonna be really hot out, and I can do that partially in my house. Just take off my intercooler, it takes like five minutes. I shouldn't say that. I say it takes five minutes, so it'll probably take me. It's cool, you can see the A mountain from here. Okay, I guess I tried. Squirrel. Let's go. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Hi, guys. So, it's it's the next day. Well, for you guys, you can't really tell a difference. It's still the same video. For me, it's the next day. I don't know why I'm explaining this. I'm just gonna shut up now and go work on my car. Ew. Okay, remember I said I was gonna wrap my inner cooler with uh, this stuff. This stuff right here. D-E-I heat wrap. So I don't know if this is actually gonna make any realistic change on my intake temps of my car. The goal here is to reduce the intake temps when sitting in traffic. Now I know the intercooler really only works when air is flowing through it, when it's just sitting in traffic. It's not really doing much but just getting heat soaked. So hopefully this gold heat wrap tape will shield the intercooler from getting heat soaked sitting in traffic. I don't really think it's going to have any effect because regardless, it's still getting hot under the hood and the intercooler is under the hood. So it's still being emerged in hot air. I'm gonna give it a shot and see if it helps. And of course my neighbors are gonna talk through my, my video. Voices carry, they can probably hear me. They're probably like, why is this girl talking to our car? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna start doing this and I'm gonna like put the camera so you guys can watch. So let's do this. I got the intercooler inside. It's hot out there. It's like 95 degrees and 40% humidity, which is really hot for Tucson, Arizona. Anyway, intercooler's inside. It's super dirty. I'm gonna get it cleaned up before I wrap it. And uh, I don't know. I guess I'll just kind of stitch that in there. So now that my intercooler is nice and clean, well, it's clean as I could get it. I got all the bugs out of it and I cleaned up the mud that was on it. So. Let's wrap it. There's a sexual innuendo in there somewhere. It's taken me 45 minutes now just to wrap one side and I'm not really done that side. So this is really time consuming. It's probably gonna take like three or four hours to finish. Five minutes to get the intercooler out. It's gonna take all this time just to wrap it, but I'll let you guys see. So, so far, I have just this side done. This is the bottom of the intercooler, or this is the bottom, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Wrapping these little areas right here are a pain. I actually have like three little pieces that cover that area, and I had to take this grommet off so I could get kind of around that. I know I'm kind of going a little extra on this, but now to the other side. The other side is gonna suck really bad. 
because it looks like a waffle. This is taking me way longer than I thought. So here it is, all finished. This was a huge pain to wrap. It looks like a Reese's peanut butter cup, kind of. These heat sinks right here were so hard to wrap. Like I basically had to lace it like I was making a pie crust. And it's not the prettiest wrap job, but this is function, so it doesn't matter what it looks like. I'm not trying to make it look pretty. You're not gonna see this. Both sides are done. The side looks a little bit prettier. But now this is the cold side of the inner cooler. This is the hot side where the air comes in from the charge pipe. And this is the cool side. So this is going to the intake manifold. So I put extra care into wrapping the cool side to make sure it stays cool and doesn't get any heat soak. So I did not wrap the top side of the inner cooler because it does get covered by a plastic engine cowl. So I feel it'd be kind of a waste to bother wrapping that, I don't know. Yeah, time to put the inner cooler back on. Okay, I wanna point something out here for you guys. If you see right here, this is the stock silicone cup link that holds the charge pipe to the hot side of the inner cooler together. And right here, it's very thin rubber and it comes up over the lip. And then there's like this little plastic notch right here that's on the charge pipe that sticks out. You have to be very careful when you're putting the intercooler back in because this little lip is thin and it could get pinched and stuck inside the charge pipe and then you'll have a leak. So you definitely wanna make sure that you're paying attention when you're putting the intercooler back in because it's really easy to mess up. And a side note, dip powder nails stand up to working on cars. Like my nails aren't chipped. So any girls watching this, dip powder, yeah, it's pretty amazing. Now as far as the cold side goes, so there's this little thin lip right here on the cup link that goes over, oh, it's picking up my nail. Yeah, there you go. So you can see it's like a little dust boot that goes over the hose clamp. That little boot right here can easily get pinched and get stuck inside the intake manifold or inside the inner cooler and you'll have a leak. So you wanna make sure that you're really careful putting this back together. And also if you're wondering, no, these are not the stock Subaru provided hose clamps. I did upgrade them when I bought the car because the ones that come in the car, they have a problem with staying tight and they start to loosen and then you end up having all kinds of weird issues with the car. I forgot the name of the brand, but yeah. So I've, I upgraded these, all the hose clamps so that way I wouldn't have issues later. So you can barely see it underneath the engine cover. If I step back and then the other side, Okay, so it's time for me to drive this thing and see if it helped. Okay, so how did wrapping my intercooler with this heat wrap actually work? Or did it actually work? Well, it's been one week since I applied the DI heat wrap to the intercooler, and I have to say I'm astonished at the results. I didn't think it was going to do what it exactly did. I was thinking it was gonna lower overall peak temperatures of um, the intake manifold temp on my access port. But what it did do is the intercooler coolers so much more efficiently now. So it'll reach peak temp, but once I start driving again, the air starts flowing through there, the temperatures come down really quickly. So it's not staying heat soaked. And honestly, it's a huge difference. I was really shocked that this actually did anything whatsoever. I thought it wasn't really gonna do a whole lot, but it did. It made the intercooler much more efficient. So. I'm kind of I'm kind of excited now. It usually averages around 25 to 30 degrees above ambient temperature for the intake temp manifold is what the gauge on the Cobb access port reads. Before it would get oh my god! I think at, sometimes when I was driving, it would get up to like 185 degrees like in traffic, and now I've seen the most in traffic when it's 110 degrees outside. The most I'll see is like 165, so it's not getting as hot, but what it is doing is it's cooling a lot quicker. So now as soon as I get driving, it gets down to about 20 degrees, 
20-25 degrees above ambient temperature um, and when I'm in boost honestly it gets within I would say 10 degrees of ambient temperature so it made a big difference I'm really shocked and was actually worth doing kind of excited so yeah just figure you guys like to know how it turned out it actually does work if you guys like these type of videos, let me know if this wasn't in-depth enough for you. Let me know. I can make it more like technical or in-depth if you want. I just kind of try to scale it down a little bit so it wouldn't be like really dry and boring. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And we'll see you soon with another video. Bye. I got a lime refresher. Oh, there's trees in the road. What the fuck, Tucson? Clean up your roads.